So I just learned optimal binds, which are basically just really weird keybinds that are really annoying to learn. And then I got this keyboard joystick, and the first step to learning it is to delete all the binds that I just spent a week learning, and make completely new ones for the joystick. And after like 30 minutes of trying to figure out what the binds would be, all I got were my building and editing binds. So I decided to just start with that and make the rest as I went on. And it didn't feel that hard to learn the binds because the joystick felt super natural to move on so I didn't have to focus on movement at all and could just focus on pressing the right build and edit binds. And I ended up practicing those building and editing binds for 6 hours. And while I show you a little bit of me practicing, I'll explain why the keyboard joystick is so good. So with normal keybinds, you only have two free fingers to press binds with, which are your pinky and your thumb, and three fingers for movement, making them not free because you have to sacrifice movement to press other binds. And optimal binds fixes half of this problem, but the keyboard joystick fixes all of it. You literally just need one finger to have 360 degree movement, which gives you four free fingers to press whatever bind that you want, which on normal binds you need 3 fingers to move and don't even have 360 degree movement. And without 360 degree movement, the most you can sprint to the side looks like this. Whereas if you have 360 degree movement, you can almost sprint sideways and everywhere in between. So if you don't have a joystick, you literally just can't do that. But anyways, after practicing for like 6 hours, I looked like this. Then I set up the rest of my binds and played Martoz's box fights map which is really good for practicing because you're constantly fighting and don't need to worry about dying because you respawn. And the beginning of me playing this map went pretty bad. But this was just because I wasn't used to my binds while fighting. Like you can see how I don't know how to build here and also how I take so long to pull out my gun after I see this guy. I would also do stuff like accidentally going in my inventory when trying to pull out my weapon. But after a while I started to get a little more used to it. And at the end of the day I was doing stuff like this. Now I definitely still have some moments like this where I just blank out and press all the wrong buttons, but at the end of the day it was still a lot of improvement. On day 2 I didn't play for very long, but I started by warming up by free building. Then I played this 4 teams of 4 map called Go Goated, but I didn't play it for very long so these are the only clips that I got. I still felt a good amount of improvement from this though. Day 3 I played a lot and I started off by warming up by free building. And I'll just say I definitely wasn't this fast at editing before I switched to the joystick. And then I played box fights. And for some reason after playing this map for like 30 minutes I started to feel a lot more comfortable with my binds and started hitting clips like this. And my aim was really good, but if you want to see what it would look like if I aim trained, then let me know in the comments if I should try aim training for a week and make a video about it. And I'll do this if even only a couple of you guys ask for it, so you could definitely be the difference of if I do it or not. Then I played Go Goated with my friend. If you've made it this far in the video, I just want to say thank you for watching this far and to show me that you've made it this far, comment not goblin. I really don't know why, but yeah. Then to prove that I've gotten used to the binds, I'm gonna do this retake I'm showing in full speed, which I wasn't even close to doing before I switched to the keyboard joystick. I ended up practicing this for a long time and kept getting pretty close. Then eventually, because it was taking too long, I gave up. 
Nah, I'm just joking. I'm not like that. I practiced it for another hour and then I did this. Now, if the keyboard joystick is worth the price of $70, I actually think it is in terms of how much it helps you improve. I feel like I got a lot more improvement from this than if I just bought a $70 mouse instead. And people upgrade to $70 mice all the time, and the improvement you get from this is a lot more. So in my opinion, your money would be better spent on this thing than any other $70 upgrade I could think of. The one thing is that it takes around a week for it to get to you after you order it, which isn't bad but doesn't compare to something like Amazon. But of course, you have to dedicate a good amount of time to learn it. And I'm obviously not sponsored or anything, so that's just my honest opinion. But if $70 isn't in your budget, then Optobinds might be worth learning, which I made a video about that you can find on my channel. But anyways, if you liked this video, then please leave it a like. And if you liked it, you would probably like my other videos too, so you might as well subscribe.